Hey there, YouTube. This is Chris in California, and apparently Darcy Tierzy has taken up the opportunity to actually ask me some questions, for which I will give him answers. And, you know, answering in the forums on YouTube is kind of annoying with that 500 character limit at all, so ever since making a video takes scarcely more time than that, that's what I'm going to do. His first question is actually a pair of questions, and I'm going to read them off word for word, and then I'm going to answer them as best I know how. The... My first question, says Darcy Tirzia, Richard Dawkins is a scientist, yet he speaks on morality. What does science have to do with morality? Is there morality in science? If so, explain. Well, I think the question is actually a, a pretty bad one. Uh, Richard Dawkins is speaking on morality as a function of a fully moral, morally capable human being who's studied the subject and has interest in it and has something that he feels is important to say and a position from which to say it. Uh, so, I mean, you don't have to be a scientist to talk about morals. You don't have to be anything to talk about morals. I mean, all of us in our everyday lives, and I'm sure that everyone out there has this experience, has to deal with moral issues all the time. Yeah, I mean, so if someone drops a wallet on the ground and you pick it up and there's a thousand dollars inside of it, you know, what do you do? I mean, we all deal with moral issues, and that's where Richard Dawkins is talking from when he speaks about morality. He's a person who's a smart person who studied the subject and he has some interest in it. But the answer the specific questions, because, you know, if I don't specifically answer them, he's going to say that atheists don't answer questions. And uh, Sure, the questions he asks are kind of goofy and don't really lead anywhere, but I'm going to answer them anyway. Um, the first question is, is there morality in science? Of course there's morality in science. Oh my god! Anybody who knows the least little bit about science knows this. In particular, in those scientific fields that have direct contact with people, like using humans as subjects of experiments, for instance. And in scientists, and I know from my own wife who has a master's in science and education, or excuse me, a master's of science teaching, uh, she had to go through the process of obtaining appropriate permissions in order to use her students as test subjects for experimentation, and there's this elaborate moral and ethical body that exists among scientists to make sure that scientists aren't abusing the rights and of their human subjects. And so this is something that scientists really deal with pretty constantly, and uh, Richard Dawkins, he's an ethologist, and that means he studies animal behavior, which means that he has to uh, deal with animals very directly, and you know, he is in the position of, of experimenting on animals, and there is guidelines and such to say whether or not a given experiment is unnecessarily cruel to animals. As a matter of fact, actually, Richard Dawkins is uh, part of the Great Ape Project, and he thinks that at least some rights should be extended to apes because of the and their intelligence and their emo emotional sensitivity. I mean, he studied the morality of animal ethics to the extent that he has a strong, a very strong position about its rightness or wrongness in the context of at least great apes. And he thinks that, you know, we should give them rights. They have certain rights that humans possess. That's what he thinks. And so, yeah, and that's true of, like, all scientists. So my, my wife, for instance, right now is getting her PhD in a applied mathematics, which is, you know, computer simulations mostly of stuff, and she has to decide in the future whether or not she'll work, for instance, for defense contractors building weaponry. I mean, this is one of the things that people in her field do. And she doesn't want to do that, but other people would have to make their own moral decisions. And same thing, too, like uh, Oppenheimer, when he was the person in charge of the Manhattan Project, which made the first atomic bomb, and he regretted it in his entire life. He knew that there was moral dimensions and moral implications to what he did, but, you know, for a variety of reasons, he felt he had to do it, and afterwards regretted it. So, yeah, there's a lot of morality in science, and scientists, furthermore, are trained and are frequently very interested outside of their training in morality. Uh, uh, I think that actually answers the second one, too, that, that, that uh, is there morality in science. But, yeah, I mean, the, the science and morality have a lot to do with each other, I think, uh, because of the technological implications and the... of... of science. I mean, you build a horrible weapon, you tilt a horrible weapon. On the other hand, you know, you fight cancer. Is it justified to do human experimentation that might kill the subjects in order to cure in the future, for instance, you know, a lot of other people? And this is something that scientists in a variety of capacities, and almost every science really, have to grapple with in some way or another. So, uh, to answer your question, Darcy, yes, there is morality in science. And it's something that, furthermore, specifically, Richard Dawkins has a lot of experience with, both in his own professional life as well as an a, a, a issue of study outside of his professional life. So, thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.